Oh my god. What's going on? Hello, 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 hello. And welcome to uh, BJD Talk Tuesday. Um, I am barefaced today. Uh, just a little update before I start this video. Um, you're going to be seeing a different background in my videos coming up here pretty soon. Uh, because like I've been mentioning in some of my other videos, I'm in the process of moving right now. So all of my <laughs> dolls are going to get packed up and put away. And I'm going to be relocating to my old, you know, back in the day filming location, which was my mom's house. Um until our new house is built. So, <laughs> very exciting. Um, but yeah, I have been working a lot these past couple of days. So I was like, I cannot even muster putting on makeup for the stream today. I'm so sorry. I'm just ugly. Uh, anyway, um, but today I did want to go ahead and uh, I put out a poll on my... Um, page asking what you guys wanted to watch and uh it was a choice between either doing the face up on my doll's own lotus here or to watch me watch my first videos and do kind of like a react um and y'all voted mostly for the face ups so i'm really excited today i'm going to be wiping off this face up this is actually a oh god like 10 year old or 11 year old face up I did this when I first got her in 2010, and I have not removed it. It's like one of the few face-ups that I have never changed. I actually really liked it um, when I when I did it, and I mean, I feel like it's really good. I, I like it, but I definitely kind of feel like I want to do more, so I'll go ahead and I'll show you her up close and personal here. She is extremely loose because alongside not really doing much with her um, face up over 10 years, I really haven't even um, really restrung her. I need a stronger thing than this. I haven't even gotten around to like really restringing her or anything like that because she's she's been pretty solid these past couple of years. So I was like, Meh, don't really need to. Oh my god, can I find something? I don't think I'm strong enough to pull it up. Nope. Okay, nope. We're not gonna break my fingers today. Not today, UA, not today. Maybe on another day. But not today. I just need a string, bro. Just a string. I'll just grab it from my good old string bag here. Because, you know, every doll order has a bag of strings just chilling. Hi, Morgana. Did you just start? Because I just got the notification. Yeah, usually, like, and that's another thing, too. I did horrible tonight. I'm so sorry. Usually, I, like, tell everybody, like, 20 minutes until I start the stream. 30 minutes. Like I said, I've literally been, like, moving and doing so much stuff around the house that I was like, oh, my God, it's already 8 o'clock. Ah! And then I proceeded to run upstairs and get my dolls put together and everything. You know, she's just chilling there now. All right, so let me show you this face up up close and personal. Like, a part of me, like, I really honestly like it, though. Like, this, I'm just like, hmm. But I just feel like with my, with my skills as they are now, I feel like I could do another good job on it. And I think the thing that pushes me most to wanting to do her face up again is that her um, eyelashes are all kinds of crazy. Oh, you can see it. Good. Yeah, can you see how crazy? That's just over 10 years of having false lashes in that they've just gone bonkers. They've gone, like, everywhere. And they're facing all sorts of different directions and stuff. So that's one of the things I want to do is I want to take out all these... Um, false lashes and fix them I mean the rest of it's pretty okay I kind of like the shading on the eyes um I chose like a really dark color there we go oh that's my stomach 
And even the lips. I was like, oh, hey, yo. Because I never do lips like that anymore. I, I actually did, like, an acrylic paint for the lips. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's not too shabby. It really isn't. Like, it's not. But I feel like sometimes when I look at her on the shelf, I, I make her into this, like, really fun and silly kind of crazy girl. Like, you know, she's, like kind of kooky and stuff and when I look at her sometimes on the shelf I feel like she's got like mad like resting bee face <laughs> so that's I was like I think I can redo her and and make it better so I'm determined to do this today and uh y'all y'all pushed me to do this today hey pink hello I would love to see you react to your old videos in the future too yeah I might actually do that so that might be like my Friday video I'm not 100% actually hold up Friday might be an, an opening video not necessarily a BJD box opening but an, a BJD item opening video because I ordered not ordered but I found some stuff on the secondhand market you know and um, yeah it should be coming in on Thursday so I kind of want to do an opening for that hey Casta Oh my god, this my stomach is just like, whoa, whoa. Yep, that's me. Okay, good, because I thought I missed something I'm actually on this time this week, and I don't have to watch the playback. Oh, it's all good, and the playback's always there in case you happen to miss it. So, okay, this eye popped out really well, and I forgot that this was back in the day when I used, like, the original putty, which was this horrible blue putty. It's, like, the worst putty in the world. I do not like it. I just don't like that... It, it's real, I don't know, it's just kind of like, I don't think it's ever stained any of my dolls, but it's just, I feel like it's harder to get out of the doll heads, so I'm gonna just, ooh, it's like really stuck to my, really stuck to my eyes here. Like, <laughs> what's that? Again, though, I really haven't, like, taken, I think I've changed her eyes over time, but, like, I really haven't done much after that, so. Dang, these are like old junkie spot eyes too. I think these are the um, the grape jelly eyes. I think, if I'm not mistaken. They were selling some acrylic eyes over there, and I think these were the grape jelly. That was their names. Yo, bros, and I forgot. I've totally forgot. She's able to wear earrings. I actually pierced her ears, so I'm not quite sure why at one point I decided just to, like, put this little thing over her ear. Maybe it's because I was like, it's too hard. I don't know. I need to invest in more BJD jewelry, I guess, for earrings. All right, so. Ew, that's disgusting inside. So, as you can see on the inside, I really need to clear this out because there's a lot of um, residue from the putty. So, I'm literally just going to take my ball of putty and just, just take it out that way. Not particularly with that noise, but you know. Had some of that blue tack in one of my dolls and it basically turned to mush. Ugh. I know. That's why I really don't like using this. I'm actually going to be, when I give her her new face up, that's one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to give her brand new putty that is not this putty. Man, this is not coming out on the side. This is why I hate blue putty, because it refuses to go out. Y'all, I am not looking forward to having it back up on my dolls. I tried to start doing it today, and I did a lot of my tinies, my little ones, and then I was just like, looking at my larger ones and I was like <laughs> and what makes it worse is I'm actually sharing the space with my mom in her craft room and I went into her craft room today and it looked like a hoarder's nest there's so much stuff everywhere and so you know as you know paying um my uh, respects for her letting me crash into her space um I offered to help her clean it so yeah because I kind of have to you know what I'm also noticing too I'm noticing that the bottom magnets are gone holy moly do you see that how is this head cap even staying on anymore I guess I'm gonna have to put some replacement magnets in here eventually also because this is 
getting ugly. Man. Yikes. But I mean, it's still working. These magnets look good. These look good in the doll's own cap. In my head cap here. Those look good, but these look... Whoa, those are like... They're like cracked. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not. It's really hard for the camera to... Flip. Trying like not to be in the way. Oh, there you go. You see that? What? They're like cracked. That happened to my resin sole gang's head also. Like the magnets in the inside of the cap like started, I guess, deteriorating. I don't know. Like they started just like breaking apart. And so I had to put new ones in Kai's head too. So I guess I'm going to have to do that for her eventually here too. Wow. That sucks. All right. Um, next on my to-do list, I'm going to go ahead and start doing, you know, what I got to do. So I have some rubbing alcohol, alcohol, <laughs> I'm done talking for today, rubbing alcohol here for you. It's 91%. Um, it does not matter about brands. It's the percentage. So I'm going to grab, oh, sorry, you heard my hair hit the microphone. I'm going to grab one of my cool new... <laughs> Everything does not want to work with me today. I just pulled one out and then like all the rest of the four popped out too. Am I doing okay? Probably not. I need to drink some tea. This is really hot though. Okay, I'm going to wait for that. All right, I'm going to grab one of these things. These things are so cool. I'm so glad I got these from the Dollar Tree because I've been using these a lot when I'm cleaning up my stuff because they're so thin. It's like better than a than a um, paper towel when I'm doing BJD stuff. So we go snip, snip, snip. I'll cut another piece here for science. Oh my god! Uh, well, I guess they deteriorate over time. I should check some of my older paints. I have a Dolls on You from 2008, and his magnets are messed up like that too. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Yo, I chipped a vase up trying to get putty out. Oh, no, Fanatier. That's... <laughs> Guys, send help. <laughs> what the heck? I, like, grabbed the scissors. You couldn't see because it, it was off camera. And I was, like, trying to move them off this way. And then they fell. And it, like, just, like, landed perfectly, like, downwards. And these are freaking... I'm done. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna retire. Oh, it's Tuesday. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's just Tuesday. Hello, everyone. I'm a wig. Your wig needs to be brushed, girl. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna face you down a little bit so it's not just me just, like, gibber-gabbing here. And you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, so first is first. We gotta take off the... Oh, bros. Oh, man. Man, these were some thin eyelashes. Like, like hair. Like, little hairs. I don't use eyelashes like this anymore. A, a moment of silence for you. <laughs> Ratchet-looking eyelashes. <laughs> oh, my God. Sure you didn't take a swig of that there, alcohol? <laughs> I'm about to, though. Oh, God, seriously. About to just hope that this tea can calm me down. All right, we're good. We Gucci. Which, by the way, y'all, I drank the other tea. This was the um, I drank the Moonlight tea the last time, and then the other day I drank the Sailor Jupiter one. Oh my god, it was so good. It's so pretty too. I think I'm going to drink it again for, like, um, a BJD Tea Time Talk, and I'll actually video it because it was so pretty. Like, I had little rose petal, like, rose hip stuff in it. And these little red balls, which I'm not sure what they were. I need to look that up. I need... Those are, like, porcelain doll eyelashes. Oh, God, this tea's so good. Yeah. Tonight I'm drinking a blend. I'm actually not drinking any of the um, Adagia teas. I'm drinking, like, this Chinese tea that my brother... Um, brought back from China when he went to go do some work and um, I blended it with this T 
tea called Relax, and it's a great, great choice. Wow, I already opened this? When did I open this? Interesting. All right. Hello, Mercedes, Mercedes. All right. Okay, so I put some rubbing alcohol onto here, and I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, just kidding. That tickles the other eyelash. Just kidding. Oh, hey, girl. She didn't want to come off. God, I... How did I do that so good? I don't even know. All right, and here we go. Let's see. Oh, sorry for the ASMR. I just realized that. You guys are gonna hear all the squeaking as I'm trying to remove this face up off of this. Yo, anyone else dying from allergies? <laughs> yeah, my mom was sneezing a crazy amount today. Oh my God. Yo, okay, so this is one of my concerns because this is a 10-year-old face-up. Like, I was wondering how easy or how hard it was going to be to take this off. And, I mean, it looks like a lot of the colorful stuff is coming off, thank goodness. And even the darker stuff around the eyes coming off pretty good. So I think we're in luck. I think we're going to be... Okay, I'm really sorry that you're having to hear this. I'm realizing this now. <laughs> Realizing my mistakes of me having y'all listen in on my... Okay, I'm really worried about these lips, though. Oh, hey, look, it's coming off pretty fast, though. Must be the rubbing alcohol's magic, because seriously... Dang, she's got some pretty lips. Okay, so my goal, my vision for her is that I really want her to just not look like she's got resting bee face, and I just want her to look friendly and cute and nice so i'm gonna work really hard i think with the eyebrows and i'm gonna work really hard again on the on the lips i'm pretty confident with my eyelashes and i think i can kind of do a nice job like i did last time because i don't want to do too big of eyelashes like long ones um because she's supposed to be like a i don't know a writer type laid back chill person and i I don't really foresee her, like, no, she would wear makeup. I guess I just don't really see her, like, putting on too, too much. I think she goes for, like, the cute looks, but not too much. Guys, I'm really excited about this, actually. Like I said, I haven't done her face up, like, in forever. Also, speaking of... Like, I'm really impressed with, like, how her resin has held up over the years. Like I said, she's 10 years old. And I'm really, like, excited to see that she's not, like, banana yellow. Like, she's definitely, like, not... Like, her, all of her body has kind of, like, changed the same color over, the, over time. I know it's, like, a tad bit different because when you look at, like, other areas that are covered all the time, like, for example, like, her chest area or underneath, it's, it's, um, a little bit different looking underneath, but, like, for the most part, she doesn't look, like, yellow to me. Like, whenever you, in the hobby, you hear, oh, you know, be careful with dolls in the sun and blah, 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 they do tend to yellow over time and blah, blah, blah. I really thought it was going to be, like, significant yellow, and it's not, so. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I love that you guys are all chatting in the chat. Thank you so much. Um, discovered Magic Erasers a couple weeks ago, and they were honestly life-changing. I managed to remove a play, a Playline doll's face with one and a tad of rubbing alcohol. Yeah, dude, this is, like, life-changing for me, too. I didn't used to use so much rubbing alcohol all the time. Um, I think you sealed it well. It should be simple enough to come off. Yeah, yeah. This is not a company face up though, so yeah. I'm at, that's what that's what I was scared about. Because if it was a company face up, I feel like it would have come off pretty easy. Because I'm pretty sure like they do a good job of sealing their face ups and stuff, and like you know it can come off. I don't know. I was scared with mine because this was like back in the day, and I was still learning how to do face ups, and I was like, I don't even know how much sealing I put on, or like how this is gonna turn out, or whatever. So. Very excited about that. Love your videos and have for years now. Thanks, Dolly. What's up? Thanks. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, crawl out of the the pits of hiatus that I threw myself into. <laughs> but you know, for all good things, all good things, you know, came a mom, got my full time job. I'm all that good stuff, so 
you know, it was a good break. Yes, I was making a wig, and I, of course, tested it and got some fabric. Oh, right on the face up. <gasps> the eraser took it right off. Yee. Aw, yes. Dawson has some impressive quality. My you is almost a banana, but still rocking his OG face up. Really? Like, he's yellow? What? How old? Snow, Snow Crow, how old is your doll? Pink says, I sealed my face up a lot, so it's always, it always takes me ages to remove it. Castus says, I got my boy in 2010, too, and he has mellowed nicely. <laughs> so sorry, Kimberly. Kimberly's like, remember when we were terrified of acetone melting resin? Ah, the squeaking is killing me. Oh, he's from 2008, so he's only two years older than mine. I don't know. That's why I was just like, I'm really impressed, because like, it doesn't look too... I mean, I guess in this lighting and camera, it looks kind of weird, but... That's what we got so far, friends. I still have some um, by the eye crease and uh, the lips. But a lot of it came off. It cleaned off really nicely. I'm very impressed. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm, like, trying to do it, like, really small. Let me get out my toothbrush. That's probably what's going to need to happen next. Uh, is it this one? Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry for the much unneeded ASMR. Still have all my VJDs, but haven't bought any in years. My channel focused mostly on vinyl fashion dolls like Barbie, Gem, and Rainbow High. Yeah, those Rainbow Highs are like super the bee's knees right now. Like, I went recently um, to... Uh, like, I literally have not gone out since the pandemic, but, like, recently, because our numbers in our city have gone down a little bit more, um, I went to the commissary, the BX, which is, like, the military base, and they have their shopping centers there, and I went there because, like, nobody ever shops at the BX, and, um, yeah, I saw some. I saw some rainbow pie dolls, and I was like, hey, oh, hey, and then I saw somebody, like, because on TikTok, like, I saw somebody, like, uh, do a custom one. And I was, like, super impressed. I was like, what? All these people doing custom dolls are awesome. How? How do I do? So what I'm doing right now, because I don't want to do it in front of the microphone, is that I'm basically just running my brush over uh, the parts where I'm having issues uh, with removing it, and it's kind of going into those creases. I dipped my brush into the, um, rubbing alcohol, and, uh, yeah, I'm just giving her a nice little exfoliation scrub here, um, and I'm doing that here in the corners inside of the mouth as well, so, yes. Working on my own BJD line, what? Buying a resin 3D printer so I can make prototypes. What? What? Dang. That's awesome. Cool. Love it. Love to see all these dolls. Like, we did that highlight, um, the BJD Small Artist highlight, um, the last two times we did Dolly Talk Tuesday. And that has been so cool. Like, I really didn't know of all these different artists that are coming out and it's really neat um to see all these different people making their own dolls it's just it's amazing to me i could i don't have the creativity to do that so i'm impressed uh to see people when they when they do that and they put all their work into it it's really neat oh my god I miss starting my day with tea time with the sun for the... Oh, I know. Okay, so not gonna lie. Like, the last tea time talk that I did, I actually was like, should I just take out that... I have that generic music that plays with my intro card now. And I was like, should I just take that out and then just play the... It's tea time! I was like, I was gonna... I, I still have that audio. I was like, should I just play that? And then I decided not to. And then I'm regretting it. Regrets. Next tea time talk, I'll do it, and I'll, it'll be your shout out for you. So yes. Oh my god. Uh, I love watching customization videos of vinyl dolls. Yeah, really, seriously, so cool. You are the reason I have some of the dolls I have now. Wait, me? 
Or the Fanatea, because Fanatea is a great enabler also, just saying, okay? Because Fanatea, like, your box, your, all your recent box openings and things like that, I'm like, but I want a doll. <laughs> but I want to open up a doll. Okay, slowly but surely, this is coming out, guys. This uh, stuff in her mouth is coming out. All right. I'm going to do this. A little bit more here and give a little bit. I have no self control. <laughs> it's all good. Man. Fan, fantasy, I've, I believe, like, if we were in the same city, that would be horrible. Because it would be just a never ending cycle of each other, of, of both of us just enabling each other. It's just nasty, okay? So maybe that's just, maybe that's the reason why we don't live in the same area. Plus, like, you know, hashtag teacher life and everything else, man. Like, seriously, oh, God. But, girl, you know, we would have lit doll parties. <laughs> so, oh, God. So lit. Me either. No self-control. I just bought the entire Barbie extra line for review. Oh, my God. Oh, that's sweet, though. Oh, my God. I love Barbie. 10 out of 10. I can't wait to be moved into my new house and then I'm gonna like, if you think this was decorated, like I'm gonna decorate the bee's knees out of my, um, out of my new house when that's being finished, built in October, you know. Yo girl, I'll fly my butt over there post pandemic and pack like 10 dolls so we can cry together. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yes, please. Are you feeling better? I gave my entire tax return to last time. <laughs> guys, these are like real things that you guys are sharing, man. Oh, my God. Before, when I didn't have kids and like a husband and everything, like, I literally did. Th I would, you know, it's so funny because like a lot of the times, like I think back to how I spent my money in my youth, a.k.a. like when I was in college. And I was working a part-time job. Like, I seriously would empty out a whole paycheck on, like, dolls or doll-related things. And just with no, like, remorse. Like, just YOLO. Just, just gone. My money would be gone, you know? And then i just income a package, you know? And I'd just be like, that is how life is. This is how I choose to live my life. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe how, yeah, because I was, like, thinking to myself, man, I could have, like, saved so much money, you know, and I didn't, because I was like, YOLO, this is my hobby, and it makes me happy, <laughs> that's what happened, that's exactly what happened, I'm just running my fingernail in the inside here, because there's, like, some dried glue here that I see that is not wanting to come off, but for the most part, everything came off, guys, I'm very, uh, excited, I do see, on this one, I do see something still there. I'm going to try to scrub at it just a tiny bit more. I don't know if you can see that or if it's just shadow or, or what it is, really. Maybe it's just the sculpt. I can't really tell. But for the most part, everything came off, which I'm very excited about, so. Did her face up, Chip? Hotaud is asking. No, I really just felt like updating it. And Like, I was telling the stream, like, I just, after, like, doing like uh those recent videos where I was talking about like MFEO and stuff like that I was like she's she's such a happy character like she's such like a a vibrant character and I felt like the face up I had on her was really good and it definitely lasted you know the time the sands of time but like I really want to make her different like I don't know I just she looked kind of angry to me she looks angry to me whenever I pose her with Kai and, and Tre sometimes. Like, she doesn't seem like the character like I imagine her to be. So, I like it, but I feel like I want it to be different. And now that my skills have changed and I feel like a little bit more confident, um, I think I can, I think I can do what's in my head. So, <laughs> hopefully, you know, <laughs> that's what it is. That place does live with? Oh, God, I know, Kimberly, yeah. 
That was exactly... Okay, you don't even understand. Okay, real talk, guys, right now. I've already, like, said this in my head. Um, Fabric and Friends does layaway, and they do smart dolls. So, Danny Chu, the ball's in your court. <laughs> That's so dangerous, dude. It's the most dangerous thing in the world. I am not ready. My, my money's not ready to just yeet off into the sunset. <laughs> oh, God. My lizard's new tank has a cabinet underneath, and I'm thinking of making one of the shelves a doll shelf so they're protected. Oh, cute. that's cool. And then you can, like, wow people two times and be like, here's my cool lizard. And then you open your bottom cabinet, and then you're like, these are my dolls. I would... I applaud you. 10 out of 10. Oh, dang! that! Oh, that earring just popped off. Okay, that one just popped off, too. Okay, then I'm not going to worry about those little earrings that I had in there. Maybe that's why I had those earrings on, because she's got two holes in her head, and it's just like... There. Okay, hold on. I should get her some earrings to wear. Do I have any earrings here? I don't even think I have any earrings here for her to wear. Um, and if you're curious, curious, if you're curious, uh, the way I put on those little butterfly earrings, it was just literally Elmer's glue. That's why it just popped off right now with all this acetone I'm throwing down on her face. Like, not acetone, Jesus. With all this alcohol that I'm throwing down on her face, that's how it came off. More than likely. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so I think... I, I really feel like I'm seeing something on the top of her eye, but it also could just be the... Like an indent of the resin, because I'm scrubbing at it, and nothing's coming off. So maybe it's just the shadow I'm seeing in my room here, and that's what I think it is. And it's nothing for me to worry about at this point. Wow, guys, she's so clean! God, it's like, I love this. I love this. It's like a blank canvas for me to just have at. She looks great. I'm so sorry about all the ASMR, though. But, like, seriously, look. She's so clean. She looks really yellow in this light, though. I swear to God, she's not that yellowed. <laughs> I don't know why on camera she looks just looks very, like, she's definitely bananaed. But she she hasn't, so I don't know what's up with that. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. You should make videos of your characters. Oh. Oh, Dolly Couch, you have the clear smart doll boy. Oof. I redone my Hujo's face up at least six times since I got her, and the current one I'm happy with. Good. Yeah, that's how I have been with my boys. Like, the boys have done them like several times. And, you know, I did Kai's again this year. I did Threads again this year. So that's why I was like, girl, I'm just going to do it. And then I just, I'm doing you guys now. So, yeah. Whew. Danny Chu, take my money from the stuff she's produced. Like, real shoes. Yeah, dude, Danny Chu just needs to please assist, um, release AG so that way I can be done and game over with me. Ugh. Put a flesh tone head on him and made him a robot. <gasps> That's so cool. Mm-hmm. That's really awesome. Cool. I miss those old school doll zone sculpts. Yeah, really honestly. Like I was I was actually a little bit bummed when I found out that her sculpt was discontinued. And a lot of the other ones too that were on my like wish list from Doll Zone were discontinued as well. Um because I really liked, the other one that I really liked was the cherry, uh, the doll zone cherry. And I was, I was actually, that was supposed to be her character, like, sculpt. I was going to buy a doll zone cherry. And I decided, like, last minute, this, all this stuff took my nail polish off. Uh, all this stuff, like, last minute, like, you know, I just changed to doll zone lotus. And then I never looked back and I never went and got a cherry. So, you know. And that's the way the world works. All right. You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to... I want to give this a quick scrub, too, because I feel like this has been... I'm going to do it over here off to the side so I'm not making me all deaf with all the squeaking. So sorry. 
Okay. I just wanted to give that a little scrub dip dip. Thanks for the grub. All right. So the next step, uh, for those of you who don't know about face ups. Um, so now that I have successfully taken everything off, I'm going to go ahead and be right back. I'm going to go ahead and get some soap and water, clear her off. Oh, sealant. And then I'm going to seal her really quick. And I will be back. Today, my sealant that I'm using is actually just going to be the testers because that one actually worked really well last time too. And, you know, YOLO, whatever. Um, what else do I need to do? Yep. So give me one second and I'll be back before you know it. I'm going to do this really fast. Actually, just kidding. I need to take this and my mask. I'll be right back.
Ugh. Still out there. All right. Welcome back. All right. Oh, look at y'all doing things. Well, I'm gone. Thank you. I'm glad y'all weren't just sitting here staring at a chair and the rest of my dolls back there. Um, yeah, she dried really well also. Um, just to let you know, she's drying. Um, I think I needed to clean more behind the ear though. Like where I did the, the Dremel hole, I guess maybe I had some earrings previously on her and there were, it was like kind of like dark, like a dark circle, like in the back. So I might have to go over that again. I'm not sure, but also YOLO. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see how that goes. <sighs> don't. Oh no. You guys are looking, reminiscing about old things. Really admire artists that do their own face ups. I tried once, but my poor doll ended up looking like it went ten rounds with Mike Tyson. No, it's always so fun just to hang out and chat in these streams. Good, I'm glad. I really was hoping, like, yeah, honestly, like, if y'all just want to come here. You don't even have to worry about me. Like, just chat with each other, connect with other doll people. Like, yo, just if you're here just to vibe, like, then vibe. Like, feel free to. Okay, so I'm gonna get my pastel pastel life in order here i was gonna try to save this but honestly like the only pastels that look good on this plate are black i don't know who else does this like who what other face-up artists do this other than me but like i will shave pastels and then keep because <laughs> you know you don't use all of them and I'm like, well, I'm not going to throw it away. I'll just use it again. So I just, like, put my plate in there. But, yeah, I think black is the only one that looks like I have a lot of it left. And then the pink over here and this red. I don't know. Maybe I'll just shave all brand new pastels. I don't know. <laughs> Who else does that? Hey, Janice. Hello, old butt just kind of disappeared. Good old stuff is constant, thankfully. Oh, man. Because I don't know when to quit. <laughs> so much has changed since the year, since I've joined. Popular styles are so different from what they were in 2008. Amen, man. There's, like, so many different ones. Which is so cool. Like, it's, it's really insane to me. Like, the amount of dolls that there are nowadays. And the different kinds and styles that there are. It blows my mind. I think I'm just going to keep this. Because the hoarder inside of me is like, that's still good. Yo, today, I think, I think today I'm going to also do what I did in that face to pack video, and I'm going to give her, like, a sharp line with some tape. Not with this tape, but, like, uh, with that packaging tape. That is probably going to happen today. Just saying. Oh, God, that's old. Oh, hi. Oh, it's Alan's card. Hi, Alan. What's going on? All right. Oh, I need a... Hmm. Herm, 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 herm. Well, I get the rest of my supplies ready here. I really usually normally do it on this table here. I probably should just get my life together on there. Because there's hardly any realty space here on my keyboard. And this body, she, she's kind of in the way. I feel like restringing her too, but I don't have any elastic for her. So maybe that'll be a project in the future. Because she is like, well, uh, she's loose. We're gonna put her there. You chill back there. And think about your life forces, girl. All right. Okay, so another world we can use. We're gonna move this table over here so you can see what's going, what's going on right here. Holy cow. I'm just all sorts of everywhere right now. All right. Okay, oh, I feel like I'm, I'm eating dinner with you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Good one, Dolly. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no, not the, not the powder chalk pastel. <laughs> didn't get a chance to even try keeping shape pastels. I didn't use. First time I ever tried it, I left the room for two seconds, and my cat ran in and started huffing them. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fantasy. I hate restringing dolls. I can never do it without injuring myself. My floy made me bleed twice. Took an S-hook in the finger for him. Yeah, 
ha- I think we all have had injuries. Like, if you don't have a doll injury story, then you're either new or you're a god. Because I feel like I feel like I've gotten injured with my dolls several times. Whether it was during restringing, actually, a lot of my injuries come from restringing. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've gotten injuries. In any other way. Oh, no, no, no. Restringing and then taking heads off. Yep, I've gotten hurt doing that. All right, so for those of you who don't know my elaborate process for doing pastels, welcome to the table that I have here prepared for you. Oh, God. Shipping wrists. I've never used pastels on my doll's face ups because I haven't tried sealant yet. Respirators confuse me. Um, so, uh, my favorite one. Where'd it go? There it is. Is this one by 3M? Um, I actually have a link in my Amazon store. It's in my, it'll be in the description or info box down below. Um, and I have it listed there if you're ever curious. But this one I think is like really good. Um, it really honestly like, I can't like, nothing goes through this mask. And the other cool thing is that you can buy refills that go onto the side panels there. And yeah, it was a very good investment and I do not regret it. But you know, I've YOLO'd a couple of times, not gonna lie. I'm not a saint. Okay, so UA, I gotta think pink and pink and pink. All right, so I'm gonna put some of the, see I have a lot of this one down already. I have a lot of that already down. What do I need? I need, why would I even need brown? I need the, I need the beige. I need this. This is what I need. And normally I would do this like with my actual exacto knife, but I don't actually know where it is right now. So I'm just using one of my blades and I'm doing it this way. So kids at home, please use an actual full exacto knife. Don't copy what I do in this here at adults. I don't know. Um, I feel like, I feel like I have a lot of the colors that I need here already, actually, honestly. I'm gonna do this one, more of the purple. And all that I'm doing really, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm literally just scraping the blade on the pastel and if I had my actual thing. I mean, I do have an exacto thing here, but it's like a smaller one and the blade doesn't fit in there. And I'm not about to stab myself with this trying to put it in there. So, you know, I don't think I really need any other colors. I have my, that, I have, well, maybe I guess a little bit of brown if I want to do a little bit of contouring, maybe I guess. Throw that in there. And maybe this one for some other shades for science for science we'll put that one in there and I think that's it because a lot of her face ups gonna have pink in it I'm gonna do some purple in there that's just gonna go down down that's what's gonna happen um, and yeah, that's what's gonna, hair ties and ribbon. Oh, what happened? Sad thing is I don't care about injuring my, t <laughs> I care about injuring my doll more than I do about injuring myself. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all I need really. Cause I still have a lot of other colors out on my tray still. So I think I'm pretty set there. So once I have my pastels uh, ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and also get out my brushes that I need. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, that too, bro. I honestly, like, the other, I don't even know. It's got to be in here somewhere because I, I used it recently. Um, but the exact knife, like, that I, oh, there it is. Look, there it is. He's just chilling. He's vibing in here. Look at him, he's just chilling here. Yeah, this is like loosey-goosey. I'm not really down with that, so. I'm not quite sure why he's so loosey-goosey, but he's loosey-goosey in this. Like, and I'm I'm not about that. So, I, I'm pretty fine with just picking up the blade with my bare hand. <laughs> just scraping at it. 
All right, I need to get my brushes out. So those are my brushes right there. Um, I also need to get out my putty because that's going to be a lifesaver right there. That's trash. Also going to get out this paper towel to wipe my brush on. I also need a palette. I am a raccoon trash monster, so I'm just going to use that old palette. Um, let's see here. What else do I need? I'm going to need black paint. That's going to be a must. don't think I'm really going to use any other paint per se. You know what? Y'all, I'm going to give her some Pearl X today. We're going to give her some shine today because why not? She's my doll and I can do whatever I want with her. All right, what else does she need? She gonna need some lashes, so I'm gonna get her lashes ready. So we're gonna have that ready to go once we start. Um, here's another brush that escaped and more putty that escaped. Um, let's see here, what else do I need? 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 I think that's pretty much it. I thought about changing her eye color Oh, no, it's not. I need the pastels. I thought about changing her eye color, but then I was like, meh. Like her actual eyeball, and then I was like, probably not. All right, so I'm going to need this, and I'm going to need my sharpener. I'm going to make sure all my stuff is sharpened right now also. Oh, God. How are we doing? All right. Pretty good. Um, yes. You should try stream. Yes, Fanity A, for sure. Yes, do it, and then let me know when you're on so I can go bother you. <laughs> no, always, just do it anyway for science. You know what, honestly, okay, and honestly, just to be honest with you, like, I would just stream, and I really, I really didn't know if anybody would ever show up. And the good thing is with YouTube is that when you stream, you can just save your video. So just like record it as if you were just doing one of your videos that you do. Um, and then save it. And then that's more content that you have on your channel. And if people popped in and had a good time, you know, then they did. And if they didn't, oh, well, you just, you made a video that you have more content for your channel now. So, yeah, I really highly suggest doing it. I mean, it's definitely, YouTube streaming is definitely not like Twitch streaming. Twitch streaming, I feel, is more like, I really hate to be ugly about it, but I really feel like there's, like, a lot of money that's involved with it. Like, you know, people that do Twitch streaming do it because they, they are looking for those things. You know, they want partnership affiliates. They want, like, you know, people to subscribe, and, you know, that gets them the money there, too. I honestly feel like YouTube is just more chill. Like, streaming on YouTube is very chill. Like, it's just, just to have a good time. So, <laughs> that's what I'm here for, guys, is to have a good time. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, all right. Okay, so I'm going to sharpen my pencils here because I can see the one that I really need today is not sharpened, which is this pink one here. I see my black and my brown one's already in there. Actually, he's not looking too bad. I just, there's something on the tip of it that I'm not too excited about. Okay, I think, I'm scared. Honestly, I always get scared of sharpening my pencils sometimes. Oh, that worked out beautifully. Yes, so sharp, so clean. Love it, 10 out of 10. Would sharpen again. All right, that's it from this box. Holy moly, guacamole. What happened to these two brushes? It's just, they are ugly oh god i don't know what happened to those two brushes but i guess we're not going to be using those today all right that being said and done i am ready for the first phase i'm going to go ahead and put this away and my other thing away and go grab my doll head because that should be sufficient enough time at least 15 minutes or so to let your head dry i'm going to go look at it inspect it and then bring it over here and then we should be good to start since this is my face up that i'm doing if it was for a customer, I literally would just be, like, stopping after each phase. But I'm kind of, like, when it comes to my own dolls, I kind of just go for it. So <laughs> I don't really seal that much in between my layers because I'm pretty, like, yellow. So, all right, I'm going to go grab my head.
Oh, she looking real good. Yes. <laughs> All right. Stop buying dolls. Blasphemy. I used to do video game streams, but only got a handful of views. Never really considered BJD streaming. I'm too boring with my dolls. No. Never. All right. So here we are. I'm going to leave that plate down there because I'm going to be using that. So very, very first thing that I do that I actually didn't used to do until I got this hack from somebody um, is that I'm going to go ahead and put putty in the inside of the eyes and I'm going to be placing putty in the inside of the ears. That way, when I'm doing pastel work, it does not get into those places where I don't want eye put or pastel to leak into. This has saved my life because actually, funny story, when I first did her face up, I didn't do that. And so there's still remnants of color in the inside of her head cap. So, you know. Holla. All right, so we're going to put this here like so. I'm just going to make sure that it is in there. So just basically like that, we're just blocking out the eye so that way nothing goes through. And we're going to do the same thing with the ears. And again, I highly recommend doing this because it is so annoying to get pastel out of these little crevices that you don't want pastel to get into. <laughs> I don't seal a whole lot between layers either. I also live in Massachusetts. And until recently, it was a high of 25 degrees. Oh, God. Hold up real quick here. And let's take a little tea break. Okay. All right. Same thing for the ears. Just going to kind of put them to cover because I'm not a big fan of having to take off sealant, or not sealant, but pigment colors from these little crevices, so. I'm just gonna swoop, swoop, swoop. You know, and you know what's funny too? Back in the day, I really used to like, like color the ears too. And I don't even remember the last time I actually put pastel on a BJD's ear, so it's kind of funny, you know. All right. I just ordered my first doll leaves doll, Alora, 20 centimeters. Yes, yes. And I'm like, yeah, I can do a face up on her. And now I'm like, oh, no, she's got a tiny face. How am I going to do that? Honestly, it's not that bad. If I'm thinking 20 centimeters, is that the small one that I have? No, she's 17 centimeters. They're, they're fun to do in their own little ways. Doing tiny little face ups. Okay, here we go. First is first, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna think about what I want with her colors. So I'm thinking I want like blushing and I want like a really cute soft look. So I'm gonna start off with some of the pink and I'm going to actually put some of it towards the inside of her cheek, towards here, towards the middle. And I'm just going to move my brush like in circular motions to kind of get it in this spot here. She's looking a little bit like an opera singer, opera singer, opera singer right now. Wow can't talk um so this is what I'm doing and I'm gonna add light pastel this little beige one vanilla looking one um to it and it's gonna help soften it and spread and move the pastel around a little bit more so the more I work with it and move it around you'll see it becomes softer versus that. So 
when I add that other color, the little vanilla color to it, it really blends it and makes it look really nice. So um, I'm gonna follow that up. I should have had a cotton ball, but I did not. Hello. Cotton balls. Ah, there you are. <laughs> Takeaway is that she is incredibly lazy and always tired. Oh, that's a mood. That's a legitimate mood for me. Also. Um, so with a cotton ball, I'm just going to go around the edges of what I just did right now. And that will really kind of blend it in and make it look real soft. So there we go. That's the first step. And that's what we're working for right there. All right. So I'm going to do basically the same thing, but to the other cheek now. And I did. I'm so proud of myself. Because <laughs> I didn't do it for Kai or I didn't do it for um, Tre e either. And I was really upset. I didn't do a before picture, so I didn't take a picture of what their face would look like, a nice picture of what their face would look like before and do it after, but I did it for her. So I have a picture of her sitting down really nice, and I did a picture of her face, and then I'll take a picture of what this looks like afterwards. So The only videos I have right now are dolly dress-ups and a few speed paints and time lapses. Those are the best, though. I really like watching. I don't know what it is. It's so calming, like, watching people dress their dolls. I really like it a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what the heck is that? So, I'm not gonna lie. Something, like, something appeared on the face as I blended it in on her right, right cheek. What the heck is that? Do you guys see that? There's like a streak, like a... Will I be able to get that off? It was almost like a little line, like a scratch or something. That's weird. What happened if I shade it again? Oh, it didn't. Weird. I wonder what that was. Maybe something on the resin or something. I don't know what that, what that was. I feel like I can still see it. What is that? Maybe something didn't seal right. Hold on. Oh, geez. If I have to redo the ceiling, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna turn it into her character. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, yeah, she's got this cute mark on her face. <laughs> Oh, what's up with that? Oh no, it's not there anymore. We're good. We're good. What was that? That was so weird. Okay, so I'm now I'm just gonna play the game of evening out the color for where I started it on both sides and make sure that it is even. And I'm noticing there is a hair on her upper lip that might have gotten sealed in. Love that. Oh, yes. Thank you. 10 out of 10. I've always wanted an upper lip hair on my doll. What the freak? All right. Um, preschool teachers are so powerful. My mother was a preschool teacher until retirement. I have one, and I lose my mind just from one. <laughs> Got a two-year-old at home. Tiredness has pretty much become the normal for me. Amen. Yep, that is me too. My, my sweet girl is two years old, and she is a handful. I mean, I like having my class... I like working with pre-K, but oh my god. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with being able to come home and just worry about one versus, you know. And that's because we, we have um, smaller class sizes because of COVID. But it's like, yeah, still I'm just kind of like, right. 
I am trying to lightly take off this little hair and it's bothering me because I can't see it very well. Hold on. Okay, I don't mean to blind you all, but I also kind of need this light here. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened here and as to why this little piece of whatever decided to make its way on my face up and I'm not down with that. Totally not down with you being on my girl's upper lip here. I kind of have to like slight, like lightly just with the edge of the back of this brush, like scrape it off. Cause I'm not even sure what that was. Oh geez. It was like a really tiny little hair. All right, we Gucci. All right, I'm gonna clean up. Bro, I should have had that light over here like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the crazy cat stories I have. I want cat that loose eating tape. What did I do to deserve this? I also work in a preschool. Is that common for doll collectors? Yo, I don't even know. You're like the third one now that I've heard is also like some form of teacher. Um, and in my doll, doll family in Dallas, like a lot, I've, I think a couple of them there are also some, in some shape, way or form in education or work with kids or something. I have no idea. That's really interesting. Oh my God, my cat's all the way on the top of my burrito. Okay, I'm just lightly just putting color in other areas as well at this time. Um, let's see here. What happened to that little brush? This one. This is what I'm looking for. Um, my cat eats my doll elastic forbidden spaghetti. <laughs> That's too funny. Forbidden spaghetti. <laughs> so funny. Forbidden spaghetti. <laughs> I just can't get over that. For reals, though. That is some pretty forbidden spaghetti, man. Oh, I'm dying. You got me. Yeah, I think I'm going to really like having a softer lip for her. Because the acrylic was nice, but I don't know. I just... I think it was too much. This is just so much... She just looks so much softer now with all these with these colors here like this. I think this is going to be... A, I think this is going to be good for her, guys. It's going to be great. She's going to be great. I'm really down with this right now. Uh, right now I'm just taking a slightly darker beige. It's not even beige. It kind of looks yellow to me almost. And I'm basically going around um, shadow areas right now. So I'm doing like her um, around the upper part of her eye. I'm also hitting the sides of her nose with it. I did the bottom of her chin here with it. I'm also going to probably hit some up here. Up here where her cupid bone is, and I'm gonna use my magic clean eraser and kind of just blend it in. I'm really sorry for that audio though, I'm just realizing that every time I pick up that brush. Okay, next. Uh, she had black, like eyeshadow. Not sure how down I am with that, really. I. But so far, so good. I really like how, like, clean this looks. Like, so this is just, like, some shadows here, right? So we're seeing, like, a bunch of just just natural-looking colors. Very soft, you know, um, nothing too crazy, so. I'm, I'm liking this. I feel, I'm feeling good vibes from this, from her. 
Because like I said, I think she just looked too... She looked kind of angry. Like, I would try to position her differently, like, next to Kai. And she looked kind of mad sometimes. And I was like, girl, why are you mad? So I think this is good. This is good for her, guys. We're doing good things today. I normally don't put anything on the forehead, but... And she has bangs, so it's not like it's really going to show. But I don't know why I feel like it looks good on her right now. So we're going to just gonna go with the flow here. I'm gonna even this out more. I think this could use more color here on this side. I'm just gonna soften it. So it kind of like looks like a gradient like from lights to darks on her face and I think that's gonna work really well with her. Oh, I'm loving it already. She looks so clean. Like, so clean. I'm loving this so much. This is like night and day for me because I've seen her the same way for like 10 years. You know, and she was one of my first girls that I got in. I was, like, really excited about. And, you know, I spent tons of time, like, looking into what I wanted to get. And I decided on her. And so this is just really nice, I think, to see this. So, again, I don't know if you really can tell or you can really see. But very light kind of vibes. Because again, like I said, I really wanted to make her just nice. And I was just really disappointed with the fact that she looked really angry all the time. So, <laughs> You know what's really funny too? BJD owners and cats. I feel like a lot of us in the BJD hobby here have cats. I don't know if that's like a coincidence or like, you know, what that says about us. But, you know. I feel like if you're a BJD owner, you more than likely have a cat. Okay. Oh, guys. I'm telling you guys. I really think she needed this. Like, I love, I love my UA. I love her so much. I love her to pieces. But yeah, just something just fell off, like, these past couple years, and I just needed to pay attention to her and give her some love. Some much-needed love. Like, already, like, look how, look at the, look at the outline of her brow here now. Like, doesn't she look nicer already? Like, I feel like she... Like, the placement of this looks a little bit better than what she used to have. And she just looks nicer. I'm going to bring up the corner of her lips, too, I think. Yeah, I noticed. I've definitely noticed that, too. Cat ladies. Lots of cat ladies. Yep. I'm telling you. Coincidence? I think not. Looks like it's spears. I'm just kidding. All right. So we're going to play the matching game. This one's super sloppy. That's okay. That's what magic clean erasers are for. This time around, I'm doing her eyebrows first, and then I'm going to work on some of her eyeshadow, eyeshadowing, um, just because like, I feel like since this is such a vibrant pink, I don't want any of the pink to leak down on whatever color I decide to do on the bottom. All right. Checking. Okay. Yo, I think she's going to look so nice with this updated face up for real. She just looks so clean. I love it. 
I know I keep saying that, but like seriously, don't understand. I've just I've just stared at this girl on the shelf for like for so long, and that like to see her getting this like after ten years is just like insane to me. <laughs> Uh, thank you. I never knew holding the face up upside down would help with eyebrow placement. Sometimes it does. Honestly, I kind of, like, try to do it to, like, even it out. Like, I kind of, like, imagine them sitting, like, on a line. Like, you can definitely make, like, stencils and things like that. But I, I, I've been doing it like this for, like, a while. And sometimes I do that to start it off and then I'll flip it back over again just to kind of see if they're, like, even or even-ish, uh, together. So look at that. Right? Does she look just nicer now? Like, she doesn't look like she's angry or, like, mad. Like, I think she looks real chill now. Like, she's real mellow. Like, I'm loving it. She's she's like, hi, I'm Yue. Nice to meet you. I'm trying to think what I want to do for her eyes, though. She looks sweet, right? I'm really, like, thinking that I, I all these years... <laughs> I had her on, I had her on there, like, looking like that, and I just, something just didn't feel right whenever I took photos and stuff, and I was like, mm, I don't know if I like this or not. So now, I'm, I did black. She had black eyeshadow. And I think what I'm going to do is, since I'm trying to go for, like, a softer look, I'm going to use brown instead, and I'm just going to make it just, She's just going to be nice. Like, she's going to be real sweet. Because if I went back to the black, I think it would have made her look a little bit edgy. And I just really want her to be, like, Instagram cute. Like, look at me. I'm posing in front of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I don't know why the Eiffel Tower. And with the eyeshadow, I'm just really honestly just moving it around um, and then stopping at the corner of the eye. And then I kind of just drag the brush downwards at an angle. And then I'm going to just kind of clean up here a little bit. Whoop. She needs more darker color in the inside, I think. Oh, guys, she's going to look so sweet. Like, she's going to look so nice. I'm really excited about this. I'm so glad that you all voted on this. I think she really needed this. So maybe she, um, she psychically told you all. <laughs> She's like, guys, vote for the face up. My face up is echo old. Guys, I really need a, a new face up. My, my face up is horrible. Actually, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It just didn't seem like her. After all these things, I talk about her, and she's, like, so sweet and stuff. And then I'm like, but she looked kind of mean. All right. Okay. Looking good here. That was a little bit too much in that corner there. A little swoop, swoop, swoop. All right, there we go. Okay, so there's our pinks and browns. Uh, I don't know if I really can you can really tell or not. I think it's gonna really look different. It's really gonna change once I add the acrylic to it. It's going to give like a really nice sharp line. Her makeup's going to look like she's got like those brown tones in them. Like she tries to do like little like, you know, hashtag 
no makeup, but really she's wearing makeup type thing. Following makeup advice, brown eyeliner looks more natural, defines the eyes without being very stand out, especially on pale skin like her resin tone. Yeah, honestly, I could do brown. I could. I'm like thinking, who has brown? I don't think anybody I've done has browns. I've always ever done, like, I've always done black. Like, always. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's time to try something new. Do I have brown paint? Maybe? Uh, nope, that's red. Mm, I do. Hmm. I wonder how dark it'll be. I don't know. That's a good suggestion. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I'm going to do the next part, though, which is going to be the trashy thing I've been doing on all my face lips recently is just doing, like, an underline. I, why do, I don't know why I'm in this phase of doing this, but I just really like it on my dolls, and I'm realizing how long this video is so far. Holy cow. I'm going to have to, like, stop it at some point. So maybe after this first round here, I'll stop it, and then, like, I'll, uh, I'll just post photos on, uh, Instagram and Facebook because I feel like this is too long. I don't have the right pencils or color to do the eyeliner in full brown, so I usually do that in black, but I have a very soft brown that works great for lashes, so I use both. I know. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with doing this, but I mean, I am. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do a little bit. I just want it very light on her. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of it on this side here. Quite sure what it is with me in this line that I've been doing like recently, but it's probably all the anime influence. I think I made this one too big. Yes, I did. This one looks too big. I'm sorry for the ASMR. Now this is the bad part if you don't seal your stuff. Now I have to redo a part of my cheek because I really had to scrub at this part and yep, that's gonna be a thing that I'm gonna have to do. Well, Better to ask for forgiveness and permission. <laughs> I'm like, something's off with these lines that I did. It's because I did one, one uh, stops. So I do a total of two lines on the bottom. One that goes from the edge of the eye to like about midway. And then the other one is in the inside and it goes, it's just like a tiny line that goes here. And the one that I did on this side, I gave it like a slight curve and I did not do it on this other side and I can see it and it's bothering me. got it. But this one's now too dark though. Oh. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Sorry for the rap music. Wiki, 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 wiki. Alright, there we go.
There we go. Got it. 20 years later, after ruining her cheek, I got it. I gotta play that game where I gotta restore what I did because I had to take it off, you know. Everyone's favorite game. Okay, I think we're back. Oh god. Okay. So I'm going to just kind of make sure that these lines that I just did aren't so ugly. <laughs> I feel like I kind of want to do the one on the top too. I don't know what I'm, what's wrong with me. Oh my god, I love elf ears. I always manage to scrub away layers even if I do seal them, so mood. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what's happening right now. I just like took off like pretty much all the cheek work that I did that I was like, mm, it's perfectly blended. And then I just like, just went over it. It was just like, bye. See you later. <laughs> Can I do some eyebrows here? Dang, that's my husband. He's so loud. Oh, she looks so good. Oh, she was, this is what I was missing. She needed a new face. She was like, yeah, girl. Why you make me wait so long to get my face done? I was so tired of looking like I was angry all the time. Like, I just wanted to be nice. I don't want Dre to think that I'm mad, or Kai to think that I'm mad. I'm really just a nice girl, but no one knows. All right. Okay. I'm noticing the inside of this did not get as much pink as I thought it did. Why is this one, this corner has like pink and then this one did not get pink. All right, there we go. All right, we're good, we're good. We're good. All right, what else needs to be done at this point? I mean, I could do this line here too. Hopefully I don't mess it up. God, do I, do I mess it up? Well, do I need to? Nah. Nah, I don't need to do that line. But I will do some eyelashes on the bottom, I think. So, in brown. Because I do like doing both. So maybe I'll do brown and pink. Maybe I'll do brown and black eyelashes. How about that, though? Normally I don't do it in pencil, but I'm liking the idea of having brown and black lashes. There we go. Brown and black, skin and can't looking so good. I don't know if you can really see. Hold on. Um, hello, camera. I would like for you to look at my hard work that I'm doing right now. Hello, camera. Oh. You showed it for like two seconds. How dare you? I won't be able to see what I did. Oh, there we go. Kind of. Got it. Oh, no. You guys seeing that? Oh my god, I love it. It's so good. She looks so much nicer. She just looks... She just looks nice. 
It's crazy how a face-up can really change, like, a sculpt. That blows my mind. Like, seriously. Like, she just looks so much nicer. I'm trying to think if there's more pastel that I need to add somewhere before I seal this layer. And I think I'm going to put it in the eyebrows. Mm-hmm. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I think I might have to end my stream here. And I'm just going to have to show you guys whatever I get done on. On uh, Instagram and stuff. Yes, look pretty, looking great. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm liking it too. So I think this is this was a good choice. This was a good decision. Hi, I'm late. No, it's okay. <laughs> Spaghetti, you're all good. You're all good. We were just literally, we're literally just vibing. Whenever I do face ups, I feel like my streams take way longer than they normally do. And yep. Yeah, so I'm sorry. Sorry about that, but um. Yeah, I am I'm going to I'm going to be sealing this in just a bit here and then I'm probably going to end it for tonight just because I don't want to be like 2 hours 3 hours streaming. Plus it takes time for this to dry, so you know, that's a thing. I feel like when I wiped this cheek over here, I really dug into the sealant. And I can see, like, I, I can see, like, a little streak here, and it's really bothering me. <laughs> it's, like, really bothering me, like, on a different level here. <laughs> and it's, like, killing me, because I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything about it. I think I'm just going to have to live with it. Love it though. Mm, nailing it. She just looks so nice. I know I keep saying that, but you don't understand like how angry she's looked at me on the shelf. So, yes, I'm down with this. Very down with this. Okay, so at this point, I usually like I conceal it just as is, but I used so much pink and I used so much pastel that I'm actually going to be taking off the little. Uh, things that I put on and I'm going to clear off any areas here and then I'm going to seal it because I want to make sure that there's no weird line that appears after I um, after I do this after I seal this layer of pastel so I'm going to literally just um, make sure that that looks good so I'm going to pop in an eye just for science Oh man, she looks so cute. Look how happy she looks. She's like, hi. She's like, I'm a sweet girl, I promise. And then I'm gonna do those lines on her lip here. Can I do some right now? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm like, like ultra concentrating mode. I'm like, I want to do these little lines, but I want to make them look like she's smiling, so I have to like angle it. But at the same time, I don't want to make it look like she's like got a piece of hair in her mouth. you do this to me you betrayed me pencil look I feel like sometimes if you don't 
on at all. I went horribly wrong with this one. Okay, so let me show you what horribly wrong looks like. So, like, if you if you don't, like, make it thin enough or you don't make, like, the angle, like, at a certain angle, like, it just looks like, it just look. I don't know, it looks kind of dark to me. This, this one, on this side. It looks really dark. I don't know why this camera doesn't want to focus. This camera just does not like me. Oh, there we go. I don't know. I feel like I did it too dark. I feel like it's really dark. And it just looks like something's hanging out there. The other one looks really natural. It looks fine. But this one is like... I did it too thick. The line is too thick. So I gotta go back and fix it. Oh my god. Oh, a Homestuck character. Oh man. She looks really cute though. Thanks. Yeah, I'm really liking it a lot. Like, this is this is what she needed. She needed spa day. Very light. That's all I need. Just a little bit. Tiny, 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 tiny. And since I took out some of the color here, I gotta replace it. Mm -hmm. Kind of went a little bit too far. You guys hear my husband gaming? He just got back into World of Warcraft and he, I, I never saw him ever again. <laughs> just kidding. But not really. Alright, I think we're good now. There we go. So there we go. So... Add it a little bit more because I need to elongate it if I do those lines a little bit. And there we are. She looking cute. She looking she looking much nicer. And I can't wait to do the um, the eyeliner, which I'm still on the fence if I want to do it like you suggest to do it brown or do it just black. I've always ever done black. I think I might just do both of that, but keep the brown lashes because I do like that. That's pretty. Pretty nice, actually. Do like that a lot. So, yes. Uh, all right. Well, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and um, end this here. But I will have a video out for you guys on Friday. I just don't know if you're gonna be able to see the same background um, as you see right now before you because of me moving, um, which, like I said, if you didn't know, I am moving back to my old house, uh, aka my mom's house, aka where it all began, and um, yeah, I'll be shooting videos from there for the next few months, actually, all the way up into October, because um, our house should be finished being built somewhere between August and October, and I'm thinking probably it's going to be more like October. But once the new house is finished, I will then have a brand new place to shoot videos from. Again, I will have a wonderful room to myself, thank goodness. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. So, yes. <sighs> Again, thank you so much. I know this was a super long stream, and I know I didn't even get to finish. I'm looking at the time. It was an hour and 40 minutes. Holy moly. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be posting pictures of her on Instagram and on my Facebook page and probably TikTok. So, yes. Hope you guys have a fantabulous night. Thanks for popping in. I'll see you guys on Friday. Have a good one. I love all of you. Thank you for coming.